Hi, my name is Chris Embry. I'm a regional manager with PICA and I was a project manager at the High Point Condition Assessment Site. PICA stands for Pipeline Inspection and Condition Analysis Corporation. We have manufactured and developed several tools to inspect pipe. We have inline tools that inspect the pipe from inside of the pipeline and we also have external tools that can inspect the pipe from the outside of the pipeline. Several agencies here in Southern California and throughout North America are using our technology currently. This technology can be used on any metallic pipeline and here in the water industry in potable, raw, recycled, as well as wastewater. We inspected the metallic pipelines at High Point. We're using electromagnetic remote field testing techniques to determine the remaining wall loss. In this instance, ductile iron pipe. Many older pipelines are out of sight and out of mind, but working with a proactive agency like Balacitos, we're able to inspect before there are failures in pipelines. My name is John Childs. I'm an inspector for Valacitos Water District. I was the inspector specifically for the PICA High Point Assessment up here at Woodland Heights Glen. We're standing up here at Palace Vista Tank. We're right below the tank. One of the first things that Valacitos did was we were responsible for marking out old ductile iron mains that are up here. Been up here, I think, I believe for almost 12 years. And these lines have never been used and inactive. Also, there was two potholes that were done, and those locations were at known utility crossings, and we just wanted to get an evaluation and see what, if there was any sort of corrosion happening at, at those locations. So once we did mark out our lines, it was decided where we were going to make the entry points and the exit points for the Pika Sea Snake. This is a location where we did it. I, for Valacitos, was overseeing Cass Arietta, who did the excavation and we removed a section of pipe so the Pika Sea Snake instrument could be inserted. The day of the assessments, we pretty much stood back and just kind of let them do their magic. Valacitos, myself, I was impressed with Pika's accuracy and the fact that they had come back with two different locations after their initial assessment. They had said that possibly could be some major corrosion. Wanted us to excavate on those locations. When we did, we actually found significant corrosion. Wall loss, one of them when we were digging around on it actually sprung a small leak right where they had said it was. I was completely blown away by how accurate it was. Not only did they give me a linear footage of exactly where it was at, but they actually gave me the clock phase. One was at 10 o'clock and one was at 10.30 on the pipe. And lo and behold, both of them were precisely at those locations. If this had been in service, this would have been quite a catastrophic main break. After the inspection, we provide a color-coded map of the pipe to show areas of stress, corrosion, through holes, etc. We provide that to Valacitos and engineers to be able to make a further informed decision. The information collected at High Point can allow Valacitos to make informed decisions on the remaining useful life, predict failures to save money, focusing their resources on areas of the pipe that need to be replaced and prevent outages, service disruptions, and further issues in the pipeline. In general, our inspections cost between 5 and 10% of the capital replacement cost of the pipelines we're inspecting. And we often find that less than 3% of the pipelines that we inspect need to be replaced. Sometimes if there are breaks in certain areas, it could be an easy assumption that those are the areas that are bad. That's not necessarily the case at all. In some cases, other parts of the pipeline further away and in different soil conditions may be in much worse case. And then the resources can be focused to the areas that actually need the repair and replacement. It was a pleasure working with Valacitos staff as well as Valacitos inspection department on this successful project. In my opinion, having seen the results from the Pika Sea Snake tool with the accuracy of where they had said, hey, there's a problem, and physically seeing that problem has me impressed. And I do believe that this tool would be a great asset or help the district in assessing other areas of Valacitos Water District. This has been a, a success for Valacitos in the we get to actually assess the assessment. So I see a potential for this PICA technology benefiting both Valacitos District and its customers and the fact that we could possibly assess and know of a potential line failure premature and be able to address it. District inspection staff, while we were out here, but this being the first time, we started a rough draft of some standard operating procedures that we would want to follow and use for any time we use PICA or this type of technology in the future. 